four or five stores underneath me. And what I have found out over the last three years, communication is number one. Yeah. And number two is what do you communicate? And we communicate the numbers. You know, every single week we have a GM meeting at eight o'clock on, on um, the phone, like conference call. And we go over the chart from the week before and the chart breaks down everything from uh, discounts to average tickets to sales uh, increase over last year. Um, sales for this week, comparable sales to store versus store. And really it's, um, that's kind of the way that we try to go ahead and, and uh, communicate those numbers. And, but we have found that what you focus on is what you get, what kind of results. So if we're not talking about food costs, we're going to run high food costs. If we're every week talking about food costs, these guys are going to pay attention to it and cost the goods and make sure they dial it in and portion control. And when they think they have it really tight, we'll go in and look at the stores and say, okay, you are running really close to your numbers, but here's what you're missing. You know, you're not using the scales during the week. That's probably what's, what's going on. Or did you notice that, you know, you're throwing some product away because you're not rotating stuff like little things that we can really help them once they dial into those numbers. And then labor is the same way. If you're not paying attention to your labor costs and we project everything. So each week we're projecting Thursday at four o'clock. My guys know we have a, uh, we use technology has been great. It's the game changer. And I think yeah. you're always into that too, but like we have totally. the, uh, group, a group me app. All the GMs are on it. Thursday at four o'clock. I don't even have to ask anymore. What is it again? Group me, kind of like a WhatsApp. But okay. It's called group me. And um, they go ahead and throw all their numbers on, on their four o'clock, their projections for labor for, for the next week. So I know that they're physically putting their schedule in and figuring out this is what percentage we're going to run. This is how many dollars we're going to spend. And it shows that every single week. And then myself and my supervisor know at 4 p.m. every Thursday that they're projecting for the next week. So I think we're definitely trying to dial those numbers in. That's the most important part. And then did I you, think we're- Did you learn that from working at the big chains or did you work, learn that over just your experience over time? Well, I think uh, the guy that I mentioned in the beginning that would run out on his bills, he definitely, <laughs> you know, I think everybody, when they get into the pizza industry thinks you sell a pizza for 10 bucks and you keep eight of it, right? Like that's the, <laughs> that's the assumption. Everybody, everybody except works, for the people who actually sell the pizza thinks that. Yes. And then everybody, yeah, right. Everybody who works for you. So like, that's the challenge. You've got to show everybody that, Hey, this is what, what it really costs. And that's what I've done with my guys. We break it down and show them. And I think, after I worked for that guy, then I went into the corporate chains, and they definitely taught me uh, structure, systems, yeah. and then definitely like how to read a P&L, what a P&L was, um, and how to run your labor costs, and how to look for um, what may be causing different things. Like we noticed too, we have suburban stores, so that four to five o'clock hour, there's really nothing going on. Dinner starts at five, except for like the first three weeks when the the clocks change. You know that then you yeah. can have guys a little earlier, but we find a lot of times you're going to blow your labor. It's because they're bringing in everybody for the night at four o'clock. They're bringing them all in at the same time. So that's usually where we look. If we've got a store with high labor or a new general manager, we teach them like that four to five hour, bare minimum, you know, bring everybody in at 430 to five and um, even some guys in at six for dinner. And then same thing when you're getting everybody out, you don't need everybody scheduled to leave at 10 o'clock, you know, get a guy out at eight, nine, yeah. 10, you know, so a lot of that has been, um, dialing all that in but we run really tight numbers and the thing that scares me is when we go out to like the pizza expo and someone will be talking about prime costs and they're talking about 60 percent and my guys are like we're running 54 what do you, they said we can run 60 i was like they're not writing the checks like i am we're yeah right say we're running. Yeah. you gotta ha you gotta have a little room for error there so your prime costs are running around 55 50 percent and for just explain what prime costs are for anybody who's not familiar it's, it's your food and your labor costs right and we are right around 54 percent if what's your goal for that? Is it 54% or what's the, like, what you, you tell your general manager, listen, you can't go above this. What is it? So what we do is we run a 30% food cost. That's like our, that's our cost of goods and food costs. Like we try to run them the same because what we found out is when we said, Hey, your food cost can be 30%. And then their cost of goods is like 38%. We're like, there's too much stuff on the shelves. There's, it's just not, there's no way you can run every single week a 38% cost of goods and then have a 30% food cost. Right. So we just went to, we want, we want cost of goods at 30%. We want your food costs at 30%. Then labor, we judge it off of your sales. We run them anywhere from 21 to 24 and a half percent. Depends on how much sales you're doing. We do right. give them a little bit of lead way. And we have one store that's gigantic. It has a upstairs party room. It has the biggest dining room. So we give them a little bit more. Um, we give them an extra percent too. And then sometimes we, you know, 
more flexible. If, if the general manager can come to me and give me a reason, like they can show me, hey, this is the store we're running and we're, we're trying to get your labor. Here's my schedule, but we need more labor because we're going to expand the sales this way. This is what, if they can make me buy into something, I'll go ahead and say, yeah, give, you know, spend the extra percent. Let's, let's see how this works in a month. Right. A lot of times these guys, they've gotten good where they can dial it in. We now have a, um, a crew of um, five general managers who have all been with me for over three years. So they, they really dial things in and they're, they're, they're receptive to what we're trying to preach. They're buying into the culture. And as, as long as they can show me mathematically how it's going to, how it's going to help, you know, we're, we can give them an extra percent here and, and stuff like that too. Right. What about your food costs? So are, are you uh, adjusting your prices and how often are you adjusting your prices to keep that food cost in line? That's a question I get asked a lot. Yes. Good question. We do it once a year. Um, we usually start the process in December. Um, we actually are rolling a brand new menu out at the new store tomorrow. And then we have the new menu is going to go into effect uh, Monday and Tuesday at the other stores. So and the, uh, the menu is the same across all five stores. They are every, um, the spaces are all different. It, it, it basically depends on what, what kind of bones we have in the store. We paint everything black and then we put a ton of beer signs on the walls and um, a lot of rustic wood on the walls. And then after that, uh, we keep all the menus the same, all the specials the same, and all the food the same at, at all the locations. Yeah, it keeps it simple that way, right? Yep, it really does. Because, you know, it just, I try to have specials and stuff like that. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Do you do any discounting or offers or anything like that? Or are you just straight menu and that's it? So we have this 